how's it going well hope you're well hope you're safe uh we're back to date with the rules of thinking by richard Templar. Uh, templar apologies we've got rule number three today it says consider the motive so before we get into it just want to go over rule number two from yesterday which was don't be afraid and i've got some thoughts on that fear is a natural reaction okay it's a natural evolutionary biological reaction and in a lot of circumstances and situations it's warranted and a necessary kind of emotion for us to feel okay when we're scared we get a lot more alert we get a lot more attentive we get a lot more proactive do you get what i mean yeah so i think instead of the rule being don't be afraid this is just my interpretation by the way and feel free to share yours um i think fear is an is a thing that humans we naturally feel when when the circumstances call for it letting that fear control you though and letting it freeze you and letting it stop you from achieving whatever you're trying to achieve like i think that that's where the problem lies do you know what i mean it's okay to be scared it's okay to be afraid yeah it's okay to feel fear however you've got to muscle through it you've got to power through it don't let that fear beat you do you know what i mean yeah you can't let that fear beat you you've got to be stronger than the fear yeah that's what i've got to say on that um Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section, yeah, or DM me. So, let's get into this. Rule number three, consider the motive. Okay. <clears throat> Some people are more persuasive than others. Whether they're trying to sell you a car, persuade you to adopt their plan at work, convince you to come to their party, or point out why plastic bags are bad for the environment. You need to avoid being sucked into following their line of thought blindly without engaging your own brain. Now, that car might not be what you need at all. On the other hand, plastic bags really are bad for the environment. So if someone wants you to adopt their belief or follow their advice, you can't deduce from that alone whether it's a good idea. You have to know why they're seeking to persuade you. I agree. I think that's really impo- uh, important. I think... It's, it's almost a little bit sad, you know, where uh, the, the trust between humans is, is kind of like, it, it's decayed a bit. But it's necessary and it's good advice. Definitely don't just follow uh, or adopt beliefs blindly. Yeah. Make your own mind up. Do your, own, do your homework. So coming back to this. It's always a good idea to understand what this person wants you to believe and why. Sometimes they want you to do something as a result of their persuasive efforts. Buy something, join something, agree to something, attend an event, sign a petition. Not always though. Sometimes they're simply passing on an opinion and would like your agreement. Maybe they want to persuade you it's a good thing the council are building a new car park. It's a nice bonding feeling when someone agrees with you. But beyond that, they may not be after much at all. I'd say that's true as well. Yeah, don't be paranoid (laughs) when questioning motives. Don't be paranoid. There may not necessarily be a hidden agenda. Okay. Once Once you've established clearly in your mind what they want, it's much easier to decide whether you want it to. Your friend is telling you how great the party will be because they want you to go. They're only guessing it will be great. Do you agree? Do you want to be there? If so, do you want to be there because it will be great or because you want to support your friend? It's much easier to inert yourself to your friend's persuasive methods once you can see them for what they are. It's your life, live it on your terms. Make up your own mind. Of course, that might be the perfect car for you. Whatever the salesperson's motive for telling you so. You can't dismiss it out of hand just because they have a vested interest in you buying it. If that ruled it out, no one would ever buy a car from any dealer. Identifying the motive isn't a reason to reject someone else's thinking. 
understand that. I'm going to repeat that. That's important. Identifying the motive is not a reason to reject someone else's thinking. Okay? The point of doing it is to give yourself a sensible dose of wariness. Of where you should double check their assertions and make sure their arguments are the ones that matter. A car salesperson might get you really excited with their infectious enthusiasm about how fast this car is or how comfortable it is in the back seat. But don't get swept along mindlessly. Are those things actually important to you? Your colleague might persuade you that this exhibition is just the way to reach all those small engineering businesses out there. But how big a proportion of your customers are they ever going to be? So why does your colleague care so much about reaching them? Only by recognising the motive can you know how much importance to attach to the facts that you're being fed. The moral of the story? Identifying the motive isn't a reason to reject someone else's thinking. Rule number three. Consider the motive. I think the moral of that rule is to not just be a mindless sheep. Don't just be blindly led. Open your eyes, ask questions, and whatever decisions you're going to come to, come to them yourself, on your own terms. Yeah? Don't let other people make your decisions for you, and don't let other people... Do your thinking for you. Okay? Uh, that's what I'm getting off it now. Uh, as always, I'll reflect on it the rest of the day. And tomorrow, before we get into rule number four, I'll share any other thoughts I may have. If you've got any thoughts uh, or opinions about this, if you've got any different interpretations of any of the rules so far, feel free to start a conversation going. Let's talk about it. And if there's any words or sentences you didn't understand, reach out. I'll try and clarify as best as I can. Uh, definitely recommend getting a dictionary or a thesaurus, though. Um, those are things that will always help anyone. So definitely invest a couple of quid in them. Um, yeah, have a great day, all. I hope this is useful. Thank you for those who have shared so far how useful they are finding this. And I'll see you tomorrow for rule number four. Take care. Bye-bye.